Hi, I'm Terry Mathis. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this workshop on using near-miss data for successful loss control. You know, uh, there are a lot of different concepts about what near-misses are, how they're defined, even the terminology. Some people don't call them near-misses. They call them near-hits or close calls. Uh, good catches. <laughs> Ever heard phrases like that? Now, if you're going to really make a successful program, you've got to nail down exactly what it is. After that, you've got to overcome some very common problems that keep people from reporting near misses. And then you've got to figure out what to do with that data. How to utilize it for successful loss control. All of those are topics that are covered in this particular workshop in depth. You'll walk out with a very practical knowledge of what's going on and a plan of action to carry you forward. Hi, I'm Sean Galloway. Not only is it important to have a great program and to make sure that all the elements are in place, it's also important to make sure that people trust in the system itself and that we're effectively communicating the rationale for near misses. This is what we're going to also discuss in this workshop because it's very near impossible to predict the severity of an event that might occur. I was working with an organization and they had a horrific event that happened right before we started working with them where a piece of metal flew past a guy's head probably doing well over 100 miles an hour. Now what do we call that? A near miss, near hit, close call as Terry said. Had the person been standing over just a little bit, might have nicked his ear, enough for a bandage, a first aid. The difference between a fatality and a near miss was about this much. Now, that's why it's so important that we not only have a great program, but we communicate the importance of it and people truly buy into this program and trust it. Your program will only be as effective as the culture and the trust within your organization. We want to make sure that you have the skills to go back and make that happen. I look forward to seeing you at that workshop. If you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a private event, please feel free to contact us.